Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is going to be a short video. I caught a couple fish early this morning. Um, hit a little bit of cloud cover. Nice kind of fall feel weather to the weather this morning, which is kind of nice and refreshing from all the heat and humidity that we've had in you know, the last couple months. But anyways, um, you know, it was really fun. I had a pretty nice three pounder on a uh, buzz bait this morning. And I mean, I, who doesn't love catching them on top water? It's, it's just so awesome watching them come blow up on the water. So anyways, I'm gonna kinda just share a quick video of all that and uh, do a little bit of a, maybe what I was doing and all that kind of stuff here in a second. So sit back, watch the video. Uh, definitely give it a like, subscribe if you feel like you want to, if it's something you enjoy watching. Um, definitely be much appreciated, but no pressure either way. So here's the video guys, thanks. Before we get to the video, I have one more thing that popped in my head. So I'm probably gonna do a little follow-up video off of some of this footage that I got. Cause I think there's some things that can kind of show um, and point out maybe a little bit of a tip for some people. Um, and also just kind of talking a little bit more in depth maybe about the buzz bait that I was using, which is the Cockagator buzz bait. Um, so definitely, like I said, um, if that's something that interests you, uh, definitely look for the next video to come out, hopefully in the next couple days or week, maybe. It actually, it shouldn't take that long, but um, anyway, so I'll be out there, so look forward to that, and now we'll go ahead and get to the footage, so thanks everybody, hope you have a great day. That's a good one. Yep, that's a good one. That's a good one. On the Crocagator buzz bait. Hold on, guys. Mm -mm, that was fun. Mm, three pounder. Come on, come on. Alright, thanks for playing, baby. Alright, thanks for playing. That was fun. <laughs> right out of the tube, dude. <laughs> right out of the tube. <laughs> Little ditch pickle. Well, that was a bigger one there. Oh boy. Go back to your home, buddy. That was a big one in there. Hold on, there's a big one right down here, guys. Try and not move. Oh my God, dude. That was a big one. All right, so there you have it. Um, like I said, it was, uh, I caught some other fish while I was there too, but I'm not gonna share all the smaller ones. Um, three pounder was definitely fun. Um, and then that other one, if you watch, that caught by that little drainage tube, um, I was fishing there and then when I caught that one, as I was reeling it in, this other one, another one that was, I'm going to guess probably closer to four or five pounds, followed it alongside of it all the way to the bank. And it stayed there as I was trying to get this, the other one off the hook, but I was trying to get it off the hook and like, try not to scare it. You know, I didn't want to just leave the fish on the ground and try and catch the big one. Maybe I should have done that though, but no, I, I was going to do the right thing. I know where it lives now. I'll go back and get it next time. But um, that was kind of cool. I haven't really seen that big of one ever follow 
my bait back in like that before. So anyways, till next time, I hope everybody has a good, safe Labor Day. Um, getting ready to get all that fall bite, getting ready to go here pretty soon. Um, but anyways, till next time, hope everybody's having a good holiday weekend. Be safe and uh, keep those lines wet and see if you can tap some bass. Thanks, everybody.